I wrote this book because I realized along countless conversations with CEOs and cross-cultural leadership teams from Asian and Western companies that most often leaders and their teams are just a couple of steps away from reaching far greater outcomes. In our discussions, we found out which further steps they needed to take to change their game and contribute their best performance and how they could take those steps. This book captures the learning from our successes and our failures too. I have to tell you, I first started to write a serious book two and a half years ago. And as I was asking feedback about the first manuscript to senior leaders, they all told me, interesting, different, but that's just the serious part of you speaking, Jean-Francois. We want to see the fun part of you in there as well. Tell us a story, unlock our emotions, make your book a fun way to question ourselves. We take ourselves seriously enough already and we have read so many dry and serious leadership books. And I thought that fable evoke in our mind a lot more than non-fiction books. They invite reflection at many levels and therefore they can be read several times and shared and, and that anchors more learning in the mind of the reader than a self-help leadership book. And then, you know, there are so many books, so little time. People don't take much time to read anymore, but luckily they still find time for fun and for reading or listening to beautiful stories. Hence, I decided not only to write a fable, but to make it uh, a book on leadership that would be attractive and beautiful in color with illustrations. Marshall Goldsmith recognized it when uh, he read the book he wrote. Cousin has painted a vivid picture of how to enact change effectively. And by the way, for more fun, there will be an audiobook too with terrific voice actors impersonating animals. And there will be a board game too. Well, the book invites leaders to look deep into themselves in some places they haven't looked at before and discover more of who they are and what talents, what potential they have not yet used. The book helps them unleash more of their personal greatness as leaders. What I want is help them give their best and sideline the rest. It's a journey from more complete self-awareness, self-acceptance, growth, and self-confidence towards authenticity and real self-leadership. And then the book invites leaders to look at their relationships, find ways to display and invite even more openness and help others grow, starting with their direct reports. Once everyone in a team enhance their self-leadership and their relational leadership, then the book helps senior leaders to firm up their team leadership by working out with their leadership team about how they will play together and ally themselves on the way forward. And finally, the book supports leaders to cascade down across and beyond their organization a culture of high performance and greatness by having employees adopt supportive beliefs and behaviors and by enhancing the organizational agility. That's when the game change is complete and that's when greatness is delivered.